Sit back, relax, and... <sighs> Isabella's journey. Isabella, a photographer from Spain, had always dreamed of exploring Indonesia. She had spent years working hard in her studio, but she longed for an adventure that would take her out of her comfort zone. So one day she packed her bags, grabbed her camera and set off on a journey to discover the hidden beauty of Indonesia's islands. Her first stop was Bali, where she was blown away by the lush green rice terraces and breathtaking temples. She wandered through local villages, capturing, capturing the essence of everyday life. Next, she headed to Komodo Island, determined to photograph the legendary Komodo dragon. Isabella hiked for hours, pushing herself to the limit. But when she was when she was huh? But when she finally saw the giant creature, it was worth every step. We're number 99, let's go. As she traveled from one island to the next, Isabella faced challenges she didn't expect. From sudden rainstorms to getting lost in remote jungles, she had to keep her head up and press on. Each challenge made her stronger and every new discovery reignited her passion for adventure. By the time she reached Raya Ampat, Known for its stunning marine life, Isabella realized she had found not only beautiful places, but also a deeper understanding of herself. She learned that sometimes she had to step out of her comfort zone, take risks and embrace the unknown to truly grow. Her journey through Indonesia reminded her that life is an adventure meant to be lived fully. Isabella's journey. Now let's check the vocabulary because there's some nice vocabulary in this story, which is like really motivational phrasal verbs and idioms. So listen up. Blown away, blown away. The beautiful sunset blew her away. Through the lens, Isabella's adventure. That's very like, like a sea one English story. <laughs> I, will, I will write it down for now. Blown away. The beautiful sunset blew her away. What does it mean when you are blown away by something? Yes, Leticia. What does it mean when you are blown away by something? Who knows, who knows? Type it down below. YouTube, do you still like the duck? Get your friends to subscribe and you can, uh, you can see the duck on YouTube. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> The red shirt blew me away. Once away, mm, no. Amazed, amazing, more than amazing, mesmerizing. Ooh, Aurora, yes. Mesmerizing, absolutely. Astonished, yes. Astonished. To be extremely impressed or surprised. Starstruck. <laughs> Starstruck, astonished, mesmerized. Nice B2 English, guys. Nice B2 English. To be extremely impressed, like, wow. That is to be blown away. Wow. The best journey. I would change best. 
All right. Set off. She set off on her ad adventure early in the morning. Set off. S-E-T-O-F-F. -F, set off. What do you think? What do you think? Settle? No, no, no. Set off. Set off. Run away? Uh, no, it just means to start something. To start something, to begin a journey. Or to start something. <laughs> Not to run away. Just you're ready to go and you're going to set off on an adventure. To start a journey, to set off. This is a nice one. To long for. Vocabulary number three, to long for, L-O-N-G-O-F-O-R, to long for, L-O-N-G-F-O-R, to long for. Yeah, to long for, to miss, very close, very close. To miss is very close. To long for. To desire, yes. To deeply desire or wish for something. Deeply. Which means you really, really want it. It's like craving. But longing for is more positive, I feel like. Craving can also be bad. Longing for, I don't think, can be a bad thing. He longed for a chance to travel the world. They longed for a chance to travel the world, right? Right? You're longing for a chance to travel the world. Yearning, yes, gal, yearning, yearning. Exactly. Blown away, set off, long for. Number four. Push oneself to the limit. This is the longest one. To push oneself to the limit. What does it mean? To push oneself to the limit. To push oneself to the limit, guys. Going the extra mile, yeah, very close, very close. To be determined, yes. To get to the goal, yes. Basically, to give your all, exactly, gal. To work as hard as possible. To grind, remember from last week? Grinding, to grind. To push oneself to the limit, to work as hard as possible. I mean, it doesn't mean you're gonna get to your goal, but you are working as hard as possible. You're getting as close as you can be. For example, she pushed herself to the limit during the marathon. She pushed herself to the limit during the marathon. Push yourself to the limit. Well done. Well done. You got this. You got this. All right. A very important one. When you are pushing yourself to the limit and you feel like it's a challenge, it's tough, like English, you gotta keep your head up. Keep your head up. To keep your head up. What does it mean when you keep your head up? Not literally keeping your head up, but also. <laughs> but also to keep your head up. High peach. What does it mean? To be patient? No, not exactly. To be strong? Yes, almost. To be yourself? No. 
to keep going. Yeah, almost. It needs a little bit extra. It needs a little bit extra to persevere, to keep going when? When? It's in a specific situation. To keep your head up means to stay positive in difficult situations. In a difficult situation or a challenging situation. So when times are tough, you keep your head up. When everything is going easy, it's not about keeping your head up. But in tough times, when the situation is difficult, to keep your head up. To keep on going, to keep on pushing. To believe in yourself, of course. Exactly, to keep your head up. Got it? The first five. I have five more for you, but the first five... You can repeat after me. All right, if you'd like to. I will repeat them for you. Blown away to be extremely impressed. Blown away to be extremely impressed. Set off to begin a journey or start something. Set off to begin a journey or start something. Long for. Long for, to deeply desire or wish for something. To long for, to deeply desire or wish for something. Push oneself to the limit. To push oneself to the limit. To work as hard as possible. To work as hard as possible. Keep your head up or keep one's head up. To stay positive in difficult situations. To stay positive in difficult situations. Keep your head up. Stay positive in difficult situations. Five vocabulary words. We can make it ten if you want. Five more vocabularies from this story and then I'll do the story again. Press on. Also a part of the story. Yes, Luna has a flame art gang now. Thank you so much. Anybody else want to join? <laughs> to press on. P-R-E-S-S. -S. What's the meaning of P-R-E-S-S? -S? To press on. Hmm. To press on. Yes, just like that. It's not to press on the on button. That's not the meaning here. That is not the meaning here. <laughs> Motivate yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're close. To continue. Basically, yes, to persevere. Exactly. To continue despite challenges and obstacles. To continue despite challenges and obstacles to keep on going so to keep your head up is to stay positive in difficult situations and to press on is to keep going 
in difficult situations, to continue in difficult situations, exactly. They pressed on through the storm to reach their goal. Embrace. Embrace. E-M-B-R-A-C-E. A little bit more difficult English word, but what's the meaning of embrace? Yeah, you're not allowed to give up, sorry. Embrace. E-M-B-R-A-C-E. Embrace. To overcome, not exactly. Not exactly. To accept. Yeah, give me more. Just accept is not enough. That's not enough. What does it mean? More than just accept. Because that can mean a lot of things. To be proud, kind of, yeah. To accept something with enthusiasm, guys. Not just accept, but accept, accept something with enthusiasm. Like you're excited about it. You really, really like it. She embraced the opportunity to learn a new language. She embraced the opportunity to learn a new language. What does it mean? To accept something with enthusiasm. So you can embrace English learning. You can embrace uh, English learning. You can embrace a relationship. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, appreciate you. Embrace with enthusiasm, exactly. All right, number eight, number eight, comfort zone. Important word for English learning, comfort zone. She stepped out of her comfort zone by trying something new. Comfort zone. You know what I'm talking about, right? Your English learning comfort zone. Or you're too shy to speak to me on the live stream, that one, yeah? <laughs> comfort zone is your safe space, exactly. Comfort zone is not only your safe space, but it's, it's a situation where you feel safe. Um, it's the situation where you feel safe and at ease, where you can feel relaxed and at ease and safe. A situation. It's not always a place, but it's also, you know, things that you do can be in your comfort zone or outside your comfort zone. So your comfort zone, she stepped out of her comfort zone by trying something new. That's what you should do when you're practicing English speaking. To step out of your comfort zone so you can practice that speaking and improve together with other English learners. In our community right now, go to learnwithlucas.com and click on Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp. <laughs> All right, number nine, you have almost all of the new words from the whole story. Well done. To renew or bring back. Oh, I'm giving you the explanation. Anyway, reignite. Reignite, guys. R-E-I-G-N-I-T-E. R-E-I-G-N-I-T-E. Reignite. To reignite means to renew or bring back a feeling or passion. To reignite. So something was there and you get something that was great back. Like reigniting a relationship or reigniting your passion. Reignite. Feelings. To reignite. To renew or bring back. A feeling of passion 
For example, the trip reignited her love for photography. So she loves photography but forgot about it for a few years and now it's reignited. She got it back. She got the love for photography back. Well done. Last word of today. Last new vocabulary word of today. There's more, but new vocabulary word. It's not really. Just take risks, which is a pr pretty important one. To take risks, guys. To take risks. What's the meaning of to take risks? Yeah, explain to me to take risks. To do a challenge could be to be bold, yes. Take responsibility, probably. Probably. <laughs> to be courageous, yeah, courageous, nice. To take action, yes. Try something new, could be, absolutely. To do something that involves danger, or uncertainty to do something that involves danger or uncertainty to take a risk in this case to take risks more than one risk risks plural sometimes you have to take risks to achieve your dreams which makes sense for me I'm teaching you free English so I am taking a lot of risks <laughs> that letter combination, SKS, risks, 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 weird word. Anyway, well done. Those are 10 new vocabulary words for B2 English.